Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set a double jump for your character. So basically, we want to be able to jump uh, jump here. Actually, right now, I can't jump at all. Uh, I must have set my jump count to zero. But anyway, we want to be able to double jump. So basically, I can jump once, and then while I'm still in the air, I want to be able to jump a second time. So to start out, go to your player for me that's in third person or actually sorry third person bp blueprints third person characters since this is a third person example map and basically once you select this right here um you should be able to go over to character set max jump count yeah you can see mine is zero so i couldn't jump at all but if i set this to two then if i compile this press play uh i can jump twice just like that so that's pretty cool like I would jump once jump twice uh, so that's what we wanted uh, and if we want to change this value within our game like we don't always want to have double jumping enabled um, we can set this on different events so let's say an example event is my F key is pressed so F keyboard uh, right there we will uh, it's just one function in the third person character, which is called uh, set max jump count. Uh, just like that, yeah. And you can set this to whatever you want. Let's say one, since I set the default value to two. So now, if I press play, I should be able to double jump. And then, if I press my F key, uh, I will only be able to jump once. Yeah, I can only jump once now. Now let's um, let's do this from another 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 uh, example. So I have a trigger box here, which you can uh, right here, which is you can find under the basic tab over here, trigger box, and you can just drag one in. So this trigger box, make sure you have it selected, and then you can go blueprints, open level blueprints, and uh, we're gonna do event begin play. And of course, you can use any events, or no, sorry, not event begin play, uh, event begin overlap. And of course, you can use any events you want. These are just examples. So, but now you can see we're in a different blueprint class doing this than originally, so we'll need to cast. Uh, so, cast to third. Third person character, and basically what casting means is I'm gonna, um, you cast to the third person character, and you want to get player character for the object. So basically what it means is you're gonna do uh, a function as the third person character, as it says here. So like when I cast to the third person character and I go off from here, that's like the same as me going right here, which is why from here I can set uh, set max jump count and as you can see if I go over here and set max jump count it doesn't show up because it's not a function in this so we have to cast this to get that function and now uh, we're gonna set the value max jump count to oh whoops sorry about that uh, I accidentally double clicked since this is a C++ function, so I'll set my max jump count to 5, I suppose, just a high number, so now I should be able to jump 5 times in a row, so uh, I can, of course, can jump 2 times in a row, but if I space my spacebar a third time, nothing happens. If I press my F key, I can only jump once. If I go up here, press this trigger box, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can jump 5 times in a row, and then after that, if I press my spacebar again, I just start going down anyway. One, two, three, four, five, and now I press my F key, and now if I jump twice, nothing happens because my F key again sets my max jump count to one. So basically, the max jump count is the number of times your player can jump without touching the ground, and it's basically how you make a double jump because you would just set that value to two, and that's a double jump. So that's all I got for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.